Gently breeze. You. If not me, who else could you possibly choose? You really want to me? Do I have to? There's no need to waste our energy. Come tomorrow, the water will recede and the path will reappear. I found this place earlier, when I was wandering around the island, searching for materials. As I was walking here, I noticed that some dead fish and seaweed had washed up halfway along the pathway. I looked into it, and this phenomenon is referred to as high and low tide. Look at those rock walls. See those watermarks? That's as high as the water level will get. So get a hold of yourself and come sit down. Your energy is making me nervous. How could I not be? Since I know nothing will happen. Now come and sit down. Hmm. Aren't you cold? Come closer. Hmm... <sighs> Are you feeling uncomfortable? Then come sit closer. I'll make us some tea. Yes. I thought it would be nice to have a cup of tea while taking in the ocean view. So I brought some from the Ark. I made it a while back. So the flavor may have suffered slightly, but I think you'll still find it satisfactory. Here, try some. Is it good? It may not be the fanciest of setups, but this isn't a half bad way to drink it. The most important thing is that it's nice to be somewhere where it's just you and me. I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. Hmm? Stay still for a moment. You had some seaweed on you. <laughs> We're definitely by the ocean, there's no doubt about that. By all means. What do you mean? Yes? Uh-huh. Anything else? We can take it further. We should. Right now, it's just you and me. It's as if we're the only two people left in the entire world. No prying eyes or ears at all. So, I'm going to do precisely what my heart tells me to.
they're putting up a greater resistance than I thought. What do you say we cool off? May this radiant summer day remain beautiful. Fire and hail from there is melt. Revenge is a dish best served cold. They say the sea is particularly beautiful at night. I'd love for you to take a moonlit stroll with me. It's bright out. That's a relief. Why don't we go for a little walk? Give me your hand. You have such big hands. You're quite tall as well, and you have nice broad shoulders, such a masculine body. I never noticed how attractive you are. Which part of me do you find beautiful? <laughs> it's quite a thrill declaring these things that I normally wouldn't dare say out loud. Now, if you would, please answer my question. What is it about me that you find so beautiful? Is that so? I see that you appreciate a person's inner beauty. Of course, I imagine you have more base thoughts as well, but I appreciate that you can operate on a deeper level. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing hearing someone compliment me like this. You don't look embarrassed at all, though. Apparently, you must be used to being given compliments. Something has been weighing on my mind these past few days. Whether you can truly be mine, and mine alone. I know that you're destined for great things, and your entire life can't revolve around me. I understand that. But this, here, it belongs to me, and no one else. Remember that. What your heart desires, I shall make it a reality. Oh, the heat is rising. Don't lie on me. I'll deal with you soon enough. Terror. So this is how you're showing up, huh? See? I made it. No enemies left standing. Yes. I've wanted to do this for a long time. All my life, I've never had the need to create anything. That's why I've been so intrigued by the notion of building a sandcastle. Even if you fail, you can always try again. 
you can always rebuild it. It's quite forgiving for someone who's a beginner like me. Hmm. How about the Semekai Mansion? You never know until you try. I know that place inside and out, like the back of my hand. Theoretically speaking, it should be the perfect starting point for me. Shall we give it a try? It's all about attention to detail, and patience. In fact, I think there are some similarities to the process of brewing tea. Would you like to try? <sighs> Here, come sit behind me. Let me guide your hands and teach you. There's no need to rush. Take it nice and slow, as if you're caressing the sand with your fingertips. You're doing well. Let's try making a gap here. You're doing well. <laughs> Let's continue. That's right. Yes. The previous head of Semakai was my father. I inherited it all from him. Ever since I was young, long before I became a Nikkei, I grew up within the organization. I had want for nothing, and had a peaceful childhood free of any difficulties. To me, the organization represented the entire world. A perfect world, prepared for me. I knew we were involved in activities that were frowned upon, but that was just one small part of a bigger world. However, there inevitably came a time when that world was shattered. My father fell ill with a terrible disease. Something not even the technology in the Ark could cure. Unsurprisingly, Chaos ensued regarding who would be his successor. It felt as if outsiders were invading and crossing our boundaries. The organization was being targeted both from the inside and out. That's when my once pristine world became tainted. My father had arranged everything, except for a proper successor. He had sired many children, but they knew little of what was going on, and they paid for it with their own lives. I didn't want to ruin the world my father had built, but I was just a weak little girl. I didn't stand a chance of holding back those invaders who had breached our walls with weapons in hand. So, I had to become a weapon myself. On the day my father's eyes closed for the last time, I decided to become a Nikkei, by my own hand. Looks like it's time to return to our daily lives. So this is how you're showing up, huh? 
they're putting up a greater resistance than I thought. Don't rush it. See? I made it. No enemies left standing. It wasn't that difficult. All I had to do was thrust the silver dagger that I had into my chest. Things got easier after that. No one was more familiar with this world than I. I knew I was capable of outsmarting the intruders. Now that I had a body that would never deteriorate or tire, it would be easier. Even the subordinates who had served my father remained and swore loyalty to me. My world was safe and would live on. After becoming the head of the organization, I took in my surroundings and saw that everything had been neatly arranged for me beforehand. Loyal subordinates. A luxurious mansion. Influence in the underworld. The organization's prestige. I didn't have to lift a finger. There was nothing left for me to desire, for I already had everything. I was the organization, and the organization was me. None. The organization exists for me, and I exist for the organization. It was an entire world of my own, isolated from everything and everyone else. However, far from that being a point of contention, I found it incredibly satisfying. Yes. I feel the desire to bring you into my world, but I know it is impossible. You would only end up destroying it. I'm part of a criminal organization. You are an aspiring go-getter working for the central government, the future savior of the Ark. Us being together doesn't make any sense. It's a matter of origin. I've gone to the dark side, and you're out there in the light. No, perhaps there is some gray to you. That's why I can't stop myself from desiring you. If you were entirely on the good side of things, I could have suppressed my feelings. Sometimes, I think, since you live in a world of gray, perhaps there is a chance of you coming to the dark. But then there are other days when I think there's no chance of that happening. That's why I keep wavering. Should I set my world afire for your sake? <sighs> you always say what I want to hear. You know this is an impossible situation. It's outlandish enough to the point where I've taken to believing in superstitions involving pink dolphins. I want to acquire the object of my desire without making any real changes to my life. <sighs> How desperately I desire you. But in the end, superstitions are just that and nothing more. Even so, I... I'm wavering. I'm willing to do anything to have you. I would even turn my back on the organization. But I must be patient. I must wait for the day when I find a way to have you and the organization both. I'm only satisfied when I can have everything I want. Call it a personal flaw. So please, Wait for me. Stay where you are. Like a beautiful photo. Someday, 
when I am certain I can have everything I want on my own terms. I will take you as mine. Until then, I will not waver. <sighs> the moon is beautiful. Oh, the night is still long. Spend a bit more time with me, please. Looks like it's time to return to our daily lives. The heat is rising. They're putting up a greater resistance than I thought. I will trust this to you momentarily. Don't lie on me. I'll deal with you soon enough. See? I made it. No enemies left standing. Did you find it? Find what? The way to that island. There's only one pathway. Really? Can you take the boat? It's no use. The water's too shallow. We'd only end up tearing the bottom of the boat to shreds. So you're just gonna sit here? Honey is out there with Sakura. So, do you have a plan? What? Say you do go out there and find them. What then? I... Do you think if you hinder them, they'll suddenly stop having feelings for each other? Putting obstacles in their path will only make them more determined. It will make their love stronger. You say that. But you were all too excited to take that bait from Sakura. I was just being spiteful. I couldn't stand the sight of them having fun together. It's the same for me. No, you're serious about trying to tear them apart. The ball is in their court now. The smartest thing you can do is stay out of it. I don't understand. Are you saying that you're throwing in the towel? That's not like you. You know me. I'll never give up. It's just that I'm confident. About what? That Mr. won't fall for her so easily. And even if he does, what of it? I'll just take him back. But why allow it to happen in the first place? Why not just make him yours sooner? You are really tenacious. <sighs> Say that again? I said that you're awfully tenacious. You're over here seething because someone else likes him, when he's never been yours at any point. It must be exhausting going through life like that. <clears throat> Here's what I find particularly amusing. You wouldn't be losing your cool like this if you were confident about his feelings towards you. You are a rather avaricious one, aren't you? No wonder they call you Viper. If you're so desperate, try swimming. As for me, I'm going to have a drink and go to bed. Wait. I have nothing more to say to you. I said wait. You can say it as many times as you want. I'm done with you. <sighs> so you think I'm a joke, is that it? Okay. You probably consider me a lowly insect, scurrying about amongst the filth. Well, let me tell you something. You're no different. If anything, you're worse. You're scum. Hmm. What did you just say? You heard me. Scum. Finally got your attention, did I? Must have hit a nerve. What's gotten into you? Why are you picking a fight with me? I'm not your enemy here. 
You're the one who started it. What are you on about? I was only presenting you with the facts. What a coincidence. So was I. Watch your mouth. My patience has its limits. Look at you. Giving orders again. Do I work for you? Do you see everyone as your subordinate? You think just because I'm an informant in Outer Rim, I'm somehow beneath you? Let's be clear about one thing. I don't work for you. And you're no better than me. Is that so? That's news to me. Thanks for enlightening me. Allow me to thank you. And show you just how inferior you are to me. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Exotic. The squad I'm associated with. The rank I was given in the world of the Ark. What I do is simple. I reside in the Outer Rim. The garbage dump where the Ark tosses all of its refuse. There, I gather all sorts of information and report it back to the central government. I do this to ensure nothing poses a threat to the Ark. I also conduct myself accordingly, so that the Outer Rim doesn't collapse upon itself. The Ark needs a garbage bin. The Outer Rim is a filthy collection of dim and dingy alleyways. I wander through these veritable gutters, trafficking information. Honesty and kindness have no place in my line of work. In this cesspool, people will stab you in your back for their own benefit without a moment's hesitation. I've done what I've had to do to survive. This was the lot in life which was assigned to me. I've deceived. I've spread rumors. I've betrayed others. And I survived. Until one day, people started calling me Viper. Underworld Queen came to the Outer Rim. They keep the unseemly elements in check. They're a dark force feared by all. But to me, they were resplendent. However, my admiration quickly turned into jealousy. I knew it. It's obvious what you do. Who do you think you are, turning your nose up at me? What's the difference between you and me, huh? We've both gotten our hands plenty dirty. So why did you get out while I'm still down there? Because you chose to live the way you have. Don't say it was to survive. I've heard that pathetic excuse too many times. Anyone who managed to claw their way out of that hellhole would froth at the mouth if they heard you spew that line. What am I supposed to do? Do you see this choker on my neck? Do you even know what this does? It's a shackle put on me by the central government. They give me impossible tasks, and if I don't do them, it will explode. Does that sound like I have a choice in the matter? If it were me, I would cut it and die on my own terms. That's easier said than done. You've never been thrown into a situation like this. That's why you can stand there and put on your holier-than-thou act. You've had everything handed to you. <laughs> I have everything? Do you think all that I have was given to me at birth? At least you weren't thrown into the gutter with nothing like I was. It's not fair. 
You think this is the life I wanted? I never wanted to end up like this. The Ark is the only reason I've sunk this low. Hmm. Uh, I can't stand it. Sometimes I just wish the Ark would disappear. Then everyone would be equal. That's a dangerous thing to say. Do you like the Ark? You must. You get to sip on nice wine, order your underlings around, and wear nice clothes. You can have anything you want. Learning how to drive a boat, surfing, those things are so far removed from my reality that it's not even funny. You can freely switch to a body for swimming as long as you wish. If you wanted, you could enjoy every single thing the Ark has to offer. As for me, all I have is this old, broken-down brick of a phone. All I can do is skim through outdated magazines and pretend that I know something. Anything. Oh, give it a rest. You made your bed. But what have you done to get out of it? If you ask me, nothing. Let me ask you something. Why did you come here? Why are you so obsessed with taking photos? Are you planning on selling them off somewhere? What? You strike me as the kind of person who would do that thing. As for why I think that, you only have yourself to blame. I believe you had plenty of opportunities to get out, but you never took them. So what if there were? I'm too busy trying to keep myself alive. I don't have time to dream of better things. Whereas you have nothing but time. You have so many opportunities and so much power. You think you've resigned yourself to living in the darkness? Fine. Then let me tell you what I see in you. You shine so bright. Too bright. I can't stand it. I want it all to come crashing down. Why can't I have that? Answer me! Why do you have everything, while I have nothing? What's so different between you and me? Mm -hmm. If one small thing, one tiny event had transpired differently, I would have been where you're standing. You've got the nerve to call me tenacious? You, of all people. Why do I desire something when it's not even mine? It's because I don't have anything. Someone like you, who has everything, could never understand. Mm-hmm. Your phone is broken. This was the one thing I could call mine. And now it's broken. <laughs> I shouldn't have come here. Hey. Don't. I can't stand it. They've taken everything from me. Viper! Viper! I saw a big old jellyfish over there! Let's go check it out! He looks super cool! Hurry! Hurry! Huh? Viper? Are you crying? I'm not crying. Uh... There, there. Don't cry, Viper. If you do that, I'll be sad too. I told you, I'm not crying. Shocking.
It's so early in the morning and you're already so chipper. <sighs> you look good. Looks like the fog is gone for good. The path should be accessible now. We should head back before the others make a scene. Before we go... Let's enjoy this for a while longer. We might not get another chance like this for a while. There you are. Master! Where have you been? I heard something or another happened yesterday. Stranded? Aren't you being a bit dramatic? You were just off having a good time, that's all. We're in the final stage and should be wrapping up soon. I'll report back to you when we're finished. Speaking of, we should get going. Before we leave, could I talk to you for a second, Commander? You spent the night elsewhere, so I should check to see if you're okay. You too, Sakura. We're fine. <laughs> Why don't you let me be the judge of that? You never know. There might be unknown germs buried in the sand. I should do a quick examination. Fine. You both seem fine. I don't see any issues other than both of your lips being a bit swollen. I'm not sure what could be causing that, but just be sure to apply lip balm and keep your lips moisturized. <sighs> yeah. All right, now that everyone's here, let's head back. Where else? The Ark. But we haven't taken any photos yet. Then let's get a move on. There's no time to waste. I can't do this anymore. No matter how much fun we have here, we'll just be going back to our dreary, ordinary lives afterward. So what's the point? All that waits for us at the end of this is that familiar stench of blood. Yes, something did. Something that snapped me back to reality. Nothing especially noteworthy. Just a little spat. Rosanna threw Viper to the ground and broke her phone! I saw it! Hey, wait! Viper's phone is toast! So she's refusing to come out of her room! Huh? She was crying, too! <sighs> now she can't take any photos! What's the use of taking all those stupid photos anyway? Photos are important! That's what Viper said! Sure, we all have to head back to our ordinary lives and the responsibilities that come with that. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't do everything we can to enjoy the fun times. Take me, for example. I love meat, so I work hard in order to be able to eat more of it! <gasps> Viper said that photos are like capturing a moment in time and freezing it. Even if she doesn't want to work tomorrow, or if she's having a tough day, none of that changes the good times that she's had before! That's why she said you've got to take a lot of photos. The more you take, the more memories you can look back on. Memories that are truly yours. That's why photos are so important. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. Everyone wait here. I'll go talk to her.
Get it away. I don't need it. I don't need your pity. The data chip should still be fine. Put it in my phone. I said I don't need it. Use it. I said no. When I was a human, I was a hitman for the organization. I killed a lot of people. Why are you telling me this? Huh? Just listen. I did unthinkable things to survive and to gain the boss's trust. Slowly, I was entrusted with more tasks. And that's how I established my position. The higher up the ladder I climbed, the more secure I felt, and the more certain I was that I had to keep doing these terrible things. The day I decided to wash my hands of it all, my body was perforated with bullet holes. My boss betrayed me. Somehow, they mistakenly got the idea that I was trying to overthrow them. That's how I became a Nikkei. After becoming part of the Underworld Queen, what do you think was the first thing I did? You went on a vendetta and wiped out your former organization? That's right. And you know how I felt afterward. I don't care. I felt lonely. Isn't that funny? Uh... That place was my life. Even though it got messy in the end, it was the only life that I'd known. And now it had disappeared without a trace. I thought that could happen. I continued to erase the darkness of the Ark as the leader of Hedonia. Then one day, I realized. All I was doing was erasing everything. Ensuring nothing was left behind. Huh. <sighs> What's your point? I... <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Anyway, use that phone. I told you. I neither need nor want your pity. Pity? You think I'm crazy enough to pity you? I know that you're just doing whatever you can do to survive. So I'm helping. An act of kindness with no strings attached isn't exactly common in our world, is it? Huh? <sighs> Why don't you have a nicer phone? Aren't you supposed to be loaded? Just shut up and take it. Hmm. I still find you disagreeable. Same here. You and I are not the same. Our starting points and our endpoints are different. I realize that. We'll probably never truly understand each other. Probably not. Still... That doesn't mean we can't take a photo together, does it? <laughs> there you go treating me like an underling again. Follow me. I'll teach you how to surf. What? I'll teach you how to sail as well. Come on. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't stand that woman. If only there was someone else to take my place. They're putting up a greater resistance than I thought. So this is how you're showing up, huh? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Looks like it's time to return to our daily lives. Don't rush it. It seems I will now be able to enjoy some quiet time with you. I don't usually say things like this. 
but you truly don't have any talent at this whatsoever. Physical activity isn't my specialty. I never knew steering a boat was considered a physical activity. You're just stupidly strong. Do you realize how heavy this helm is? It's no heavier than a fire arm. You just don't know how to use your body. Honey, is that true? You of all people should know whether I know how to use my body or not. Hmm. Keep Mr. out of this and grab hold of the helm. We don't have all day. You better close your mouth before a mosquito flies into it. You're drooling. We've completed our exploration of the island. We checked to see whether it met all the conditions that Mustang stipulated. And our conclusion is that this place will be suitable for human habitation. Of course, this is all still speculative in nature. We didn't detect any venomous flora or fauna, and all the fruit seems to be edible. With the notable exception of Rafflesia, that is. The island will never be completely submerged, even during high tide. While some freak weather could potentially change that, overall, it's a safe place. According to Maiden and Guilty, none of the marine life here poses a threat to humans either. Even the jellyfish aren't fatal. As long as you steer clear of the pufferfish, it's not very dangerous at all. There are also quite a few plants here that could be used for treatment. Since it's an island, it's relatively isolated and safe from raptures. Plus, there are numerous other islands in this archipelago that most likely have similar environments. If we were to expand the settlement to other islands, we'd have quite a lot of space to work with. It's not perfect, but it's absolutely capable of sustaining human life. The population would have to be kept under 200 people, however. Yes, if we continue to find places like this, we can still have hope, even in a worst case scenario where the Ark is destroyed. That concludes our exploration. Roger. Yahoo! We're done with work! That wasn't really work. More like sightseeing. <laughs> so long as you weren't slacking off, I don't think it's a problem. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, what should we do to enjoy ourselves? I have an idea. Hit me. How about we all take a photo with the pink dolphin? Ah, yes, the the show, the bell of the fall, the thing that's got everyone so excited. That doesn't sound like something we can just call over and take a photo with, though. There is a type of bait which can draw them out. If we use that, we'll be able to get a photo with them, no problem. The pink dolphins seem to circle around this island once every 24 hours. But it's too late in the day now. How did you know that? I... was tracking their movements. Why would you do that? <laughs> hmm. You really are... Never mind. Anyway, since we have some spare time until the dolphins show up tomorrow... Looks like it's time to return to our daily lives.
Is this going to happen? We don't have many balls left. Sorry. I underestimate my own strengths. Let's go again. This isn't working. It's not what you think. We're just trying to have a relaxing game of beach volleyball. It is summer after all. After sitting in one place for days, my body's feeling stiff, so... We thought we'd get some exercise. But it doesn't seem to be working out that well. No, it isn't. Why don't we play a game? Let's smash some watermelons. Are you sure it's not my head you want to smash? Uh, of course not. Somehow, I'm not convinced. We don't have to use a stick to break apart the watermelon. I can use my hands. I still think it's my skull you want to crack open. What are you making? A sandcastle. It's still in the early stages, so I haven't quite decided what to make yet. The red sand really gives it a unique feel. I thought so too. With this stuff, I think anything I make will be gorgeous. Why don't you make... A demonic fortress. Uh, what now? Since the sand is red, I think it'll suit that concept perfectly. Just imagine it. A demonic fortress would be way stronger than an ordinary fortress. Um, I don't really know what that would look like. I'll show you. Here, let me sit beside you. But that's where... Hmm? What's that? Nothing. <sighs> Bend your hips and keep your balance steady. That's easy for you to say. This is tough for me. Are you kidding me? Literally, all you have to do is stand up. Yeah, and all you've got to do to get into a good university is study hard. It's easy to say this stuff, but harder to actually do, okay? All right, here comes another one. Let's go. Ugh, this is exhausting. I said go. Nah, I'm gonna sit this one out. Do I look like some kind of volunteer instructor to you? Let me do it! I can do it! You're able to swim? Swim? What's that? Forget it. You'll die. This is a surfboard designed for Nikkei's, so it won't break. But if you take a tumble out in the water, you'll be doomed. Ooh, the waves are coming. <laughs> hey, what are you? That idiot. Huh. Thank you. 
And super easy, too. Huh? Oh. Maybe I really don't have any talent. No, that wasn't normal. Cheers! For our youth! You've all done a great job out here. Aw, it was nothing. I just wish every summer could be like this. Eat when you want to eat, sleep when you want to sleep. Surrounded by sandy beaches, the azure ocean, and bright sunlight. Ah, this is the life. Come on, cheers! Anise, I should point out you appear to have gained a bit of weight. <sighs> uh, sorry, didn't mean to soak you there. What do you mean? Are you saying I'm getting fat? I'm not saying that, but you are a little heavier than you were when you first got here. C come on, how is that possible? I can check if you like. Let's not. Hmm. You don't have to stare at my stomach like that. I'm just checking. Well, did I gain a bit? Surely not. Mary's just imagining things, right? Right? I'm afraid to say. You have. No! That guys. I'm ready to fight down and never let go. So this is how you're showing up, huh? They're putting up a greater resistance than I thought. Don't lie on me. I'll deal with you soon enough. Okay. Oh, I'm grand. I've been grilling for three solid hours, so I'm happy as can be. Let's keep it going. Everyone's eating more than I thought they would. You can say that again. Everyone's slamming it down. How come you're not eating, Anise? I haven't seen you take a single bite yet. Oh, um, I'm fine. Get it? You've been around the smell of grilling meat for too long, and you lost your appetite. No problem. I'll grill you some meat using my secret recipe. N no, it's okay. Thanks. Really, I'm fine. Rappy, who is this person? What are you talking about? She doesn't eat meat or drink? This isn't the Anise that I know. <sighs> Let's just move on. This is a bit of a sore subject. What do you think? It's delicious. Eat up. 
You're used to having healthy foods prepared for you. So this is a rare opportunity for you to pig out. What are you so proud of? You're not the one who cooked this stuff. The counters did. Hedonia is the one who financially backed this venture. They even provided us with medical supplies. Not to mention the plethora of other ways they've helped us out. What? I thought Mustang was the one who handled all the preparations. He did, but I figured a little more luxury wouldn't hurt anyone. So I decided to go the extra mile. <sighs> you keep saying how you didn't want to come, yet you've been awfully busy behind the scenes. Not to mention the body for swimming and that surfboard you lugged along. Heck, you might have been more excited for the beach than anyone. All that belly aching about how this adventure was undignified. And yet you're obsessed with tracking down these precious pink dolphins. <sighs> how are your lips doing? Still swollen? Uh... Cat got your tongue? Doctor, care to offer a medical opinion? Oh my goodness. Perhaps it's because your lips are too swollen that you're having some trouble speaking. I could help you apply some prescription lip gloss. Mm. Mm, yummy! Give me more! Here you go. Yum, yum, yummers! More. Here. Yum, 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 yum. More. Slow down. No! I want to keep going! <laughs> Fine. Eat as much and as fast as you like. Hold up. Where'd all the skewers go? I eat those two. I gotta keep up a balanced diet after all. Huh. Right. They went fishing. They said they're more interested in getting a photo with a great white shark. Probably not. Food is usually the last thing on someone's mind when they're up to something like that. <laughs> You're a real lady killer. You know that? Most people wouldn't give a second thought to something like this. <laughs> Whatever you say. How many of the Nikkei's here genuinely treat you as a friend? Nothing more. They're clearly all champing at the bit to be with you. Ah, modesty. The most insidious attitude of all. You casually warm your way into someone's heart. And then leave them in the dust. You really mess them up. To the point where they want to upend their entire life to be with you. So please, honey, don't go around breaking hearts. Otherwise, you're gonna leave a trail of tears shed by these gals. <laughs> I noticed that you didn't say you'd stop. Oh yes, you're a born flirt. That's for certain. over here.
<sighs> Nothing's biting. <sighs> Will we ever get to see the great white shark at this rate? <sighs> I wonder if it really exists. <sighs> Are you okay? I told you that you'd wear yourself out using your bare hands. I... Envy you. Hmm? Everyone seems to be getting along so well. Fighting and making up. Laughing and making small talk. Everyone's having a good time. Where's this coming from? I get that fishing can make your mind wander, but I feel like this is coming out of nowhere. I don't have any friends like that. Sin and Quincy are in the same squad as me, but I can't really call them friends. Don't you have other friends? No. I break whatever I touch. Once something is broken, you can't bring it back. So, I'm scared of touching anything. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Before, I used to really enjoy breaking things. Not anymore. Now, I prefer to simply touch things. But, whatever I touch ends up breaking. I won't break. Why not? Because I'm stronger than you. <sighs> then... Will you... Be my friend? Hmm... <sighs> In my line of work, it's hard to make friends. Still... I'll try. So... Sure, let's be friends. However, you've got to learn to fish and play games. You okay with that? Sure, that's okay. <sighs> you... work for the central government, right? No, I work in security. I see. Hmm. <sighs> I used to be a criminal. I gathered as much considering the handcuffs. What if I were to commit a crime again? Would you have to arrest me? I would at least have to report it. What if you were a secret agent for the central government? In that case... Hmm... Then I would apprehend you, yes. You'd... arrest me? <sighs> I'd have to. I would have to distinguish between work and personal matters. I would have to keep my wits about me and fight for the Ark. <sighs> I'm not sure, though. Um... I really do it? If you couldn't, then you wouldn't be able to work for the central government. <sighs> You're right about that. <gasps> Holy crap! This is a big one! I feel like I'm gonna get pulled out to sea! Here. Let me help. Can I touch it? Yes! Yes, do it! This has to be it! The Great White Shark, I'm sure of it! 
I think you're right. This is incredible. As soon as we become friends, our wishes are coming true. You can write the stuff if you tried. I'm not sure I fully understand, but I think I get the gist of it. Paul! We gotta take a picture with this thing. All right. Commander? We can't have a man come rushing in like this. It's unseemly. I will fulfill my duties. They're putting up a greater right. resistance than I thought. Look at all those bullet holes. No! I knew bro! See? I made it! No enemies left standing. Roger. You're saying this Kraken isn't the same as the one we encountered last time? It's a rapture, so it would stand to reason there'd be more than one. The important thing is that it's approaching the island. If it makes landfall, it's bound to decimate the entire place. Everything will be destroyed. We can't have that. We haven't taken a proper picture yet. The Kraken is a Tyrant-class Rapture. Before, we had the Admire at our disposal, so we were able to defeat it. But now all we've got is one rickety boat. I say we beat a swift retreat. It's our only choice. No! I don't want to run! Neither do I. But what other option do we have? We're back. What have you got for us? Hmm. It's impossible without the Admire, isn't it? No. The odds are actually in our favor. What? We were able to find out that the Kraken's external armor is significantly compromised. Honestly, considering the state it's in, I find it hard to believe it's a Tyrant-class rapture. I thought the golden color meant it was reinforced somehow, but in fact, it's weaker. I took a look at some of the parts which have fallen off it, and the golden color peels off quite easily. Judging by how damp and slippery it is, I'd wager it's some kind of moss or plankton. In other words, we've got a decent shot against this thing. Fine idea. We can't let this island be destroyed. Nor can we leave without taking a single picture. Get ready to move out. We will catch that thing. Just a moment. Let me back up my photos. What? Why? 
What if we bite the dust out there? If you end up dying, what's the point of backing up your photos? Someone else might come along someday and find them. That way, we'll live on through these photos. Hmm. Hmm. Hurry up and get moving. Not far. Get ready, everyone. Entering the area. it into a bomb. That's not my phone, is it? Of course it's yours. Who? Hmm. Oh. me for a moment. As long as I've got you with me, I'll never waver. The core has been destroyed. That was simple enough. We've got to dodge. Stop. If we had changed our course even slightly, we'd have been scuttled. Stop. Enemy down. Hmm. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. So, how should we handle this? You said it's not gold-plated on the surface, right? It's not gonna be easy taking our share. It doesn't seem like something we can move by hand. We can't leave such an eyesore hanging out on the beach. How can we 
to get rid of this thing. It's so shiny. Ooh. Yes. Hmm. Approximately 20 minutes. Check me out! I bet I look just like a hero who vanquished a gigantic beast! Calm down, will ya? You're blocking the sun. Since it's a group photo, we should decide who's going to stand where. Wouldn't it be better if we all just act natural? Natural? Forget about it. We've got to do everything we can to look as pretty as possible. So the less natural the photo, the better. Blech, this thing tastes terrible! What did you expect, you dingus? Maiden? What? are you doing? I attach my fishing hook to the Kraken. That way, it'll look like I caught it. That's way more impressive than a great white shark. <sighs> I want to hold the fishing rod, too. Okay, fine. But don't push. I'm just standing here. You're pushing. Sakura, get over here. I'm coming. Did you have fun up here? I... <sighs> I guess there's no need to be evasive about it. I had a great time. Me too. Let's bring Moran next time. And our subordinates. We'll have a nice summer vacation. That's a great idea. I guess we need to reclaim the surface as soon as possible. You bet. How'd it come out? Have you got some film left? Then let's take a few more snaps. Yeah, so that we'll remember all of this. Um, did you hear that?
how to come out. Have you got some film yet? Then let's take a few more snaps. Yeah, so that we'll remember all of this. 